Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. And you know what that means. Hi, Sights Fighter. Today is the Saturday Art Block. Woo, woo. All right. So I am Kathy Grilla Designs. This is where you can find and follow me. Please do. I'd love to get to know you. Today, I am sculpting, there's Deb, today I'm sculpting for Saturday Art Block, LDC Saturday Art Block, so all day today if you do a search for LDCC or search hashtag Art Block, you will see, you will see a, a whole line up here, let's get the party started, a whole line up here of today, we're going all the way to 1 a.m., and she's gonna kill me, but look who's doing a half hour today. Follow Deb right there, and you get to catch her later. Uh-oh, catch her later. Find out what's going on, what's new with the LDCC world, and um, what we're all about. So that will be a very uh, good half hour to catch. <laughs> we're all excited that you're gonna be there, see? We're all excited. You get to promote and do your thing. All right, so there's the info if you'd like to look up Little Deb's crew on the social internets. Please feel free to look us up. And today, okay, awesome, awesome sauce. All right, so today, what is, what's on? All right, so today I'm gonna work on this fashion illustration. I already have a lot of it done. My background music today, Dubs. Listen. <gasps> it's Fred. <laughs> Deb is Fred's fangirl, so yeah, I'm listening to Fred today. I think he has a good hours worth, so it will be a whole hour of him in the background. You need to check out YouTube, Deb. He has some old stuff on there. <laughs> he has some old songs on there that you would get a kick out of. Oh, did she's like, I already did. Who do you think I am, right? Who do I think she is? <laughs> okay, so I want to show you the picture here, you guys. Hi, Susan. Good morning. Good morning, my fan club. Okay, this is Marissa Jabot. She is the granddaughter of um, friends of my husband. And she's the one who inspired me to start painting the dancers. And about a year or so ago, a little over a year ago, I did, she has one of my first, let me see if I, I don't have a photo of it, I don't think, because it's really that bad. Um, she has one of my first <laughs> illustrations and I sent it to her. And um, so now I'm gonna replace it. Thanks for inviting people. I really appreciate it. I need your help. I need your help, peeps. Hi, Creative Empire, thanks for coming. So I need your help to invite followers. So this is Marissa. And uh, I'm going, and this is, this is the illustration I'm working on. So, when I do illustrations, I usually start with the skin and then I'll go to the face and then I usually put on the hair so they they don't look so crazy. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Let me get rid of the sketch now. I'll do hair. And then I do the accessories. I have a little bow there. And then I worked on the dress. All right. And 
the sheerness of the dress. There's a bunch of layers with illustrations. The details of the dress. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you. I saw she was a little light because she's tan. So I put a little um, sheer layer on top of her to darken her skin up. And then you see it looks a little dark, but you start playing with the background. And so I have this as a color grade in the background. And you can see that already changes it. And then when you add the color in, it changes the background even more. So she looks dark without the background. But see, when you add the background in, it's not that dark. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's what the under, this is what the underpainting does with it. You can see the difference in the background when I put the one layer on. All right. So today we get to do the fun stuff. Today, we're going to work on the bling. All the bling, all the bling, bling, bling of the dance costumes, which is my favorite part. And um, that's what we're going to kind of work on today. So, hopefully, we'll have a nice little chat and do some drawing here in my studio. There's her pretty face. Well, I hope everybody's having a great day so far. And... All right, I need to go to a hair. I want, actually, I want the bow on top of the hair. Thank you. That got messed up. That, that got messed up. It got messed up. All right, so I'm going to have to guess at a lot of this detail because this is as far in as I can get on the bling. And you really can't see it. And so I'm going to um, bling her up more. All right. I should have been more prepared, I know, guys. Trust me. Oh, my boxes are clicking together over here. Oh, it's early. It's hard to be the first one up because I have to get up early and I'm trying to grab coffee and sometimes it doesn't always give me enough time. So, I'm sorry. I'm like not all organized. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm not completely organized. Alright, so I don't have a great color in here. I know it's all good with you. And you look at you're the only one here. I bored everybody else. <laughs> so Susan. Exciting news. Sort of a little scary and exciting at the same time. <laughs> My nanny job is going to be ending in a few weeks because the little girl that I watch is going to preschool. So that means, that means I am going to be doing the art gig full time um, seven days a week now well five days a week I'm gonna Monday through Friday so I am going to be setting up a more permanent yes a more permanent schedule I'll be on here bothering you guys a whole lot more hopefully at regular times during the week <laughs> and and I will have a bunch of new art a lot more new stuff to show everybody so that it is a little exciting alright so I'm adding in some highlights and colors here because this is a this bow is all um, rhinestone -y. 
it's just a hair clip that sparkles. So I like adding in a little bit of color. I'm gonna make it dimensional now. Anyway, so Susan, I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my fan club more than ever soon. <laughs> Help me share and uh, get a little bit of um, viewers in here. And uh, good morning. I know. So I want to see if this makes it look sparkly. I think it does. So this is me doing rhinestones. Hello, welcome. We have a good time here. Just a little bling bling. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for showing up. So as always, if you're if you're new here and you have any questions, feel free to ask. But we just chat about anything. I like to think about it like um I like to think of it as you guys coming by, grabbing a cup of coffee, and sort of hanging out in the studio with me, and um, we can just talk, and do some art, and if you guys have questions, I can help educate you. So right now I'm doing all the fun stuff, I get to make this stuff look all dimensional. And if you're new here, please... I know. If you're new here, please um, chime in and say hello. Let me know who you're, you know, let me know your name, how you want to be called, and where you're from. Love to get to learn a little bit about you. All right, so we're going to add the sparkles here. Give her a little dimey earrings. Some little sparkly earrings. France. I'm listening to Fred Nemo. He's also from France. He's singing right now in the background. Fred Nemo. He does our um, Thursday music block. I don't know if you know him, but he is from France. <laughs> yeah. He's really good. If you listen to him in the background. And he's a super sweet guy. And he's not paying me to do that either. <laughs> All right. So now, I think this. Yeah. I have, I have this deal here, and and that's all right. And I just noticed that it needs to complete going around her neck here. So, I'm trying to start cleaning this up. Good morning. So you can tell I just kind of have a really loose, um, a loose throw down here. I thought I recognized you. Thank you for showing up. I thought I recognized your picture, but I didn't want to say anything and I wasn't sure. So what is your name? So I'm so glad that you're coming over from Google Plus to follow me on here. I do this every Saturday and I'm, I was just explaining how I'm going to be on here a lot more really soon. Carrie? Carrie? Good morning, Carrie. <laughs> 
Florent? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Is that you need? I'm. I'm not. I don't. I don't speak good French. That's my sister, you guys. See Dorsey? That's my little sister. <laughs> What's going on in the Dorsey household? Are you guys planning a visit? <laughs> Are you planning a trip to come visit your favorite, your, your sister? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> My family's so sick of me. Every time I every time I talk to them, I'm asking when they're coming to visit. All right. You are. Did you hear that? It's proof. I have proof. She's planning to come and visit me. All right, so right here, I want to give a little bit of a shadow. Yay! So we're working on the um, outfit part here today. I got all the fun, exciting stuff done. So as soon as I get the straps shaded in here, <laughs> yeah, Susan's one of my one of my uh, loyal viewers. Her and Charles, who he'll pop in at some point probably, but it's very early for him, so he has an excuse. But but I'm gonna be here more often, so he's not gonna have an excuse for all those. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, he doesn't have an excuse. He should be here. It's okay. I'm not that much of a taskmaster. I can, um... <laughs> I can I can let you get away once in a while with sleeping in. So when my sister and her family do come to visit me, my uh well Give me, send me, email me the infos. I don't know anything about him or his songs, Care. So, send me, um, send me some info on it. Or what their favorite song or something is. And, um, that might be. Hey, Carrie. I also was thinking, look at, we're going to have a sister talk now, so everybody's going to be in on my family discussion. Anyways, Carrie, I was thinking, would it be, would it be too soon to do a, try to, I'm just going to try to paint Lizardo for Katrina. I've never done a lizard, so I was going to try to do it. Do you think it's too early or she would like that? I could try. Okay, I'm going to try one. I have, I'm going to show you what I have really quick since Carrie's here. I have, I've been thinking of it, as you can see, look it, I have a file with it already. <laughs> I have this picture. <laughs> I was working on that. So, yeah. I've never 
never done a lizard. <laughs> so, that might be coming up. Thanks. So, my my niece my niece Yeah, my my niece we were in when we were in Florida her her lizard died. I hate talking about it. It's so terrible. Her lizard died. And we were all in Florida. And she was home by herself. Yeah, yeah. So I feel kind of bad. Alright, so I'm getting the little shadows here. And some highlights. And I'm going to be kind of guessing. Yeah, right? I'm kind of guessing on what this choker looks like because I really can't see it but it looks like it has some black blingy in there are you going to Branson really well my husband won't go to Branson just so you know <laughs> Because he doesn't like country music. And <laughs> Branson's pretty country. Yeah, that, that would be fun for you guys. Alright, so I'm thinking... Yeah. He would be like, country music? Oh my gosh. Hi Pascal, thanks for coming by. So I'm thinking that it has like these... Black... Um, the Ozarks. Little black, like, diamond things here. Sorry, guys. I got a little quiet because I was looking at my picture. I know somebody who lives in, out by the Ozarks, Care. No, it's not a shadow. I can, cause do you see the dots down there? See them? So I think that the choker part has like some of this stuff through there. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? Thanks for coming back this week. I appreciate it. We're working on the bling on this outfit here. So I'm going to Now the the trick is when we get to the side here, we have to make them look like they're going around the side. No, this is this is as close as I can get on this picture. And it's all blurry cuz it's just um I actually stole this picture from Facebook because she doesn't know I'm doing this. I want to surprise her with it. <laughs> so she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Alright. So I need to make this smaller. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to send it to her in the mail. I'm not even telling her it's coming. How about that, right? And hopefully she'll like it. I'm going to tell her, take the other one and throw it out. Or hide it in the closet. And replace it with this one. <laughs> Alright, so what the brush I'm using right now is called a depth lofter. And if you could kind of see how when I go like this, it's almost like pulling out a piece of the, it's almost like pulling out some of the painting and it's giving it a texture. So it's going to help me get a realistic beaded look here. And then... When I add in, so 
some of the sparkly colors like before. And this is just because when you have stage lighting, your um, glittery stuff <laughs> will pick up the lighting. So I always like to add a little bit of colors. Yes, you could. I don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, I have not taken lessons on this. So I just jumped in and I just do what I do, you know. And um, it might not even be the right way or how. I know I've had people who do digital art come in and say, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And I'm like, well, because I don't, I don't know all that techie stuff. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know all that techie stuff. And um, I just do what I've been able to figure out <laughs> what to do. <laughs> So I kind of paint, I paint like I do, like I would paint on anything else. My canvas just happens to be on um, my computer screen. So you, I hope you can see that texture is giving it that little glitzy. And um, so it might not be the correct way or the most um, direct way or whatever, you know, but it's just what... I've come up with on my own. Okay. So, I think it's something like that. I think. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's something like that. I want to make sure we can... Alright, that'll be have glitter on it when I'm done anyway, so it'll cover up some of that detail when I print it out. Now I'm going to try to decipher these straps. Thank you. Decipher some of these straps. Alright, so I'm just kind of... This is where you guys come with me inside my mind because I do, I really do not know what I'm doing. I hate admitting that. I should be like, I'm such a pro. I know exactly what I'm doing, but I'd be lying because I do not. <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing. So you will hear me sometimes talking to myself, trying to think in my head of um, what's gonna work. No, I really don't. So, like, I'll be, I'll, like, right now I'm going, oh, should I do this? Is that what's going to work? I don't know. And that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm trying to get a little bit of a dimension on this. So I have no problem telling you if I don't know. Do you? Okay, so I'm not alone. Yeah, I'll be like, okay, um, maybe we'll try this. And I try to like logically plan it out in my head. So hopefully, You use CS Pro for drawing. This is Corel Painter 2017. Um, I'm hoping to upgrade to the 2018 really soon. Um, my birthday is in a few weeks. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna upgrade for my birthday present to myself. <laughs> so when you use shadows and and highlights that's what helps start creating form so I don't really want it to be a line 
This is a very light blend in. So I try to think three dimensionally, when, even though I'm painting two dimensionally, in my head, I try to think of it as a three dimensional object. So I need to um, create the effect, the illusion of depth on a surface that doesn't have it. So as we um, start, all right, I need to adjust my jewels here. It's too big. All right, I think this has, I'm guessing again, once again, I'm guessing. It's the guessing game. Now, the good thing about an illustration is it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more the suggestion, which means this doesn't have to look exactly like her, because it doesn't. It looks like her, it, but it's more of um, a likeness than a portrait. And so you, you have a little bit of leeway with that. Charles is up. He'll be here in a little bit. All right, I'm not. All right, I'm trying to get these little Julie's affected here. Right, and then I need a smaller. So I'm just kind of giving it a pattern. I, I mean, I can't see exactly what it's doing, so I'm kind of just um, making one up. Why is it a little blurry? There we go. And I'll be honest, I am making it up. It is okay. I mean, it's an illustration. It's going to be on an 8 by 10. You just have to kind of see that it's sort of blingy. So... She has some sort of gems or jewels on there that are like big um, rhinestones and not just the glitter stuff. And then, once again, around them we'll put the color. So I always do like a aqua color blue and some pink and maybe some purple depending on the lighting that I'm using. Good morning. Good morning. I can't believe a half hour has gone by already you guys. I have such a good time chatting with you <laughs> that I'm always surprised at how fast the time goes. The time goes too fast. All right. So I'm kind of putting this texture in between the bigger beads. And this texture is actually a grain embossment and I've just found that it does like um, for costumes or formal wear when you have something that's like just sparkly material like um, 
It's not really a, well, it would be like a sequiny effect. And it's just more like a glitter material. She's a beautiful girl though. And she's a really good dancer. She is um, nationally ranked. She has been, oh, what's the dang title? Oh, she's, she's done advertising for different dance competitions and uh, whatever they're like, Miss So-and-So of whatever. But she's tra she travels all over. She travels all over the country dancing. Yeah. So if you ever watch, have you ever watched Dance Moms? Have you ever watched Dance Moms? If you've ever watched Dance Moms, she has competed. Okay, well, she has competed with those girls and won. <laughs> yeah. There's pictures of her with um, Abby Lee Miller, who is the dance mom's the teacher from dance mom all right i just needed a little more i don't like using lines but i needed a little bit of a, a definition of the shadow in here and then the cool thing about digital art is i can take my handy dandy eraser and come in and Make that as narrow as I want. So I just have a sh nice sort of a line, but more of a shadow. All right. I just want to put a little bit of sparkle on those big ones. Sparkle. Now, when I print it out, I use this will I'll probably all be glittered on the actual print that she gets. But um, for for um, posting online, I like to have something so you can see how it's developing a three dimensional there. All right, guys. We're going to be on the boob area, so have a good time here looking at... I don't know why. There's some people on here who literally come on and go, Oh, boo. It's like a digital drawing, people. Really. And she has clothes on. <laughs> people are strange. They're strange. <laughs> I've been on social media long enough. I get all types. I'm telling you. All types. Alright, so I want to, I just kind of threw in this pattern, I want to clean it up a little bit. My sketch is not very precise either. So, once again, like fashion illustration, if you've ever seen fashion illustration, they do not look exactly like the dress. It's supposed to be a, you know, I mean, sometimes they're pretty crazy. They have like alien looking girls and I guess mine are probably a little more realistic than most of them. 
but my OCD likes me. I like to have lines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just shake my head. I've been on social media long enough that um, people, I just kind of go, okay. Nothing, it used to really upset me. Oh, but that's one, one of the reasons why you don't see me broadcast my face a whole lot. Because um, I just like to avoid just uh, comments that are distracting. <laughs> But I don't know. Yeah. I've been at, people have asked to see, like, what are you wearing? And can I see your feet? Um, I don't know. It's just weird stuff. I think the hiding behind a computer gives them a little more. Yeah, it's true. Get, hiding behind a computer gives them a little. Um, Make some brave, I guess. So I use a sketch. It's a really quick sketch because I sketch try to try to get more of the feel, and um, I just use it as a guideline. So it's hard to tell if those are just big gems or I think it's a combo of both. Your English is fine, a lot better than my French. I have a uh, Wacom and Tools Pro and you can see how dirty it is. It's totally dirty. Look at my boo-boo finger. Ouch, ouch. Uh, <laughs> no, it's um it's very dirty because I use it every day. All scratched up and dirty from all my drawing. Look at it. I've only had it a year and a half. I think you could get the screen replaced, like the thing replaced, but I just wipe it off every once in a while. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for coming. Carrie spelt a different way than my sister's. If she's here. So we can tell the difference. All right. This. I'm trying to see what layer this was on, but I can't tell. I have a little mark in here that's gonna drive me crazy, I think. But that's all right. I'll take care of it later. <laughs> I think it's this layer. Yep. All right. OCD, yeah, you know me. I see one little mark and I'm like, yes, I don't like that. Which is why I can't get away from the details of everything. So I'm going to duplicate these up here just because I like them. I'm going to put a couple of them in through here. Like. Mm. 
Okay, right there. There's like a couple of these. Like around the sides, I'm thinking. Looks good. Like I said, if it's not totally perfect, I'm not gonna worry about it. I have a I have a pressure sensitive pencil. So I just kind of um I just paint. All right, get the depth lofter. I need it a little bigger. A little bigger. And we're going to Turn those dots into gems. I have no idea what she's saying. <laughs> So this is how you create digital texture. So I really want to get um, the Corel Painter 2018. They have whole, a whole set of texture brushes that I'd like to uh, play around with and try out. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. All right, so now we're going to do... I actually did a busker yesterday. Um, I, I, I'm going to be doing a lot more. So, keep your eye out for me. Yeah. You know, on busker, um, I do have a raffle going over on there too, so what I have going on over on Busker is if everybody's not familiar with Busker you can tip on Busker when this reaches $25 which is what I sell prints for I have a floral print that is getting raffled off on there alright and so now we're going to do the same thing with these make these little pearls. I just wanted them to be a slightly lighter. <laughs> yeah, Busker. It's you would like it. Busker's a really fun community. It's still kind of small. Um, if you're social, you could fit right in and get to know everybody. Yeah, we have, there's, um, I, like, you can, people schedule things more, which I will start, I'm going to start um, having some scheduled busk. I never used the schedule before because it's always hard for me to um, know exactly what time I'm going to be a available, but it's going to happen a little more now. So... I will be able to schedule somewhere. All right, thanks for following and coming in and saying hi. I totally appreciate it. I will see you around the social media hood, I hope. Other than just Google Plus. I was on Google Plus for a while and then I stopped posting things on Google Plus 
because it was, um, I wasn't very responsive. Like, I belong to a lot of groups and I do a lot of things, but I like to be active and either people commenting. I mean, it's not necessarily commenting on just my stuff, so it's not like, oh, I'm not getting any attention. I just don't like when nobody is doing anything. And um, so I kind of stopped doing Google Plus for a little bit. And then I randomly saw that somebody mentioned me on there like to somebody else and so I was like oh and so I just narrowed it down to a couple groups and Loren is one of the people that um, started following and commenting and I posted yesterday that I was going to be on here and he actually showed up so yay What layer did I put that stuff on? Oh, look at me. No. No. Oh, let's see. That's the wrong layer. <laughs> I was wondering why it didn't blend. It's okay. what I love about digital. Goodbye. 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 There we go. Na 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 na. One of my um, favorite digital artists is here on uh, Periscope as well, and he is also from France. His name is Jean, Y-A-N-N. -N. No, I don't think he's on the art block. He should join the art block, huh? Okay, so I had to try to create the shadows and so part of the, you highlight the edge and it makes it pop. So that's a little art trick for you. And then we got to do a little bit of um, a little shadow and highlighting in here for little creases. And if you make it roll a little bit. Deviant. I was on Deviant Art. I still have an account over there. Um, I my style. I just didn't think fit in great over there. All right. Deviant Art was a lot of. Um, Like, I would have people like me and stuff, but I wasn't getting much of a, much of reaction or, I don't know what you want to call it. But like I was saying, if, if it's not active, I don't have time to hang out and do it. Mr. Poop Nut! See, I'm not worried about being super neat down here. Because <laughs> I'll come back. Good morning. The other, the, the other member of my fan club. I have two fan club members. 
<laughs> show up and cheer me on every week. Yay! Alright, so now I'm just going to do a bunch of different sizes. Do these little dots. <laughs> well, you, there you go. You and Charles can work on the, the fan club. Alright, so I'm just kind of doing a bunch of little depth loft, but I'm gonna make a bunch of little jewels here. <laughs> Bye! So some I'm pressing long and making them a little bigger, and some I'm doing little, so they'll be all different sizes, and it's just kind of random. And hopefully it'll, when I'm done, it'll have a... beaded texture look. And then we'll do the little green embossing on top. For the sparkle. I maybe should have done that underneath. Oh look at nothing like thinking. I wanna see how this will look. Yeah, I need to do this first, I think. Let's go back as far as I can. It won't be that mint. I need to add the color in. So this is how you learn the process. It's the process. So if you do it in the wrong way, obviously I guess it's not going to look the effect that I wanted it to look like. Fill that dark spot in. It's because I try to rush a little bit because I don't want people being super bored. But detail isn't always interesting, you guys. Oh, and guess what? I wasn't paying attention. I only have one minute. Oh my god, I got so into it. I have one minute. There's only one minute left. And then out of courtesy, I will not be on Periscope today. We have... Music today was Fred Nemo, wrong thing. We have a lineup all day today till 1 a.m. 1 a.m., guys. So... Look up hashtag LDCC, hashtag Art Black, right here on Periscope. And if you liked what you saw, I hope you follow me here or anywhere else. So, um, no, I can't really go longer. I don't want to go longer because I don't want to take anything away from Julie, um, who's next. I believe it's her first Art Black. And so I will not be on Periscope. Probably, I, I try not to do any other Periscopes. Hi, Lampy, I'm getting ready to leave. I don't, I try not to do any other Periscopes on Saturdays, simply because I really don't want to take away from anybody else. Um, but I will be, 
and tomorrow or I'm busker. <sighs> if I have time. I have to go to the grocery store and stuff today. But if I come back later, it'll probably be on either Instagram Live or busker. I try to stay off a of Periscope on Saturdays other than my art block because I try to be polite to my other art block people. So Julia should be up right now. And um, I'm going to go see what she's up to. So if you're following me, I'm going to go and share her. Yeah, you have a great Saturday too. I'm going to go and share her scope and um, you can check her out and give our art block support. And um, keep following me to see the rest of this deal. <laughs> and um, if I have time, I will come on later. So Susan, go look for Busker. <laughs> it's just an app. B-U-S-K-E-R. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, everybody. I love you guys so much. I want to stay. I want to stay. I do. I could draw for another three hours for you guys. <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts. Have a great day. I'm going to go share um, Julie's broadcast, and let's give her some support. She's new to the art block today. Have a great Saturday.